Today is your last chance to see a super unique show here in Portland. Now this one woman show takes place in different bathtubs every night. That's quite unique, huh? Cassidy Quinn got the scoop. We are in the bath today with Siobhan O'Loughlin. Seems like a weird premise for a segment, but an even crazier premise for a one woman show. So you have a show called Broken Bone Bathtub. Yes. That you tour around the country, but it's in Portland right now. You actually do do this show in people's bathtubs. I do. The piece is based on my experience after breaking my hand in Brooklyn. When you have an injury like that, you can put a plastic bag over it for taking a shower, but I didn't want to do that. I decided it would be better if I take baths, but I didn't have a bath. So I was borrowing my friend's baths <laughs> in New York City. People ask like, what can we do to help? What do you need? And you never really know what to say. You're like, probably nothing. I'll just be sad by myself, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and so I said, oh, actually, if you have a bath, I can come over and, and use your bath. And so that is, um, that's what I did. <laughs> and so the piece is essentially recreating that experience of my friend's generosity and borrowing a friend's bathtub and talking to them about what happened to me and the things that I'm thinking and feeling and hearing from them about what's going on with them. And right now we're obviously wearing bathing suits, but normally yeah. that's not how you do the show, right? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I don't have a bathing suit on during the show. Like real life bathing. It's a real bubble bathing. <laughs> yes, and the audience helps to give me a bath. How does that work? They're, what do they do? They wash my hair, they wash my back, what? they rub my hair. So I'm in my cast. I have my cast from my accident. So that's like always out and the audience helps me do things that I can't do. Wow. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you have a lot of bubble baths? Did you like I did. do the Santa Claus thing where you like give yourself a beard? But I can't do it, is it working? No. I always wanted to be like a fairy princess, so oh, I was yeah. like... <sighs> yes! <laughs> so magical. It's so, it's so magical. So you've done a few shows in Portland already, because you're here for two weeks. Have you noticed anything unique about like Portland bathtubs? I mean, I've done a variety of Portland tubs at this point. A friend of mine has an alcove that in his backyard. He lives in a cottage in the backyard of the house that he owns and he's created like a space for this outdoor tub and it's got like a vine covering. We performed on a floating home off of Marine oh. Drive, that kind of area. Uh -huh. And then we've also done just regular houses. <laughs> With a show like this, does anything weird or things just like go wrong while you're doing the show? What's the craziest thing that's happened? Sometimes the tub um, is draining. <laughs> I sense it, like you're looking at the water, like right now we have a good water level. Mm -hmm. So I was in Hollywood and it was like in this old like Hollywood home and like it was great, we had like eight people, it was like really fun and uh, and I was like that looks low and then I told them, I was like you guys, uh, the water is like going and the problem is if you turn this faucet on during the before, it's so loud and you're like mm -hmm. competing with it and it's really interactive so like people are talking, everybody's kind of talking so it's hard to like drown out or like everyone wait. <laughs> And we'll like yeah. turn the water on. Hang on, water break. Yeah, so I was like, I'm just gonna lose the water and like that's what's gonna happen. And they were like, that's okay, we don't care. And like some of them were like, we'll take off our shirts. Solidarity. Yes. You know? So it was like, it was it was pretty fun. So has this helped you? Because obviously when you had your injury, you're going through a lot. Has the show, does it help you like deal with that and get through all of that? Um, I mean, yeah, it's about healing. It's like a meditation on the experience of healing and pain. It's really interactive. So I learned something about everybody who comes. The main thing I think that I've learned is that when you see someone, you really don't know what they've been through. And they might look like a certain type of person. They might look strong. They might have a lot of tattoos. They might look like, like a bro, but like everybody's struggled through so much. And I think that being able to share that, find that common ground with people that maybe I in my life would not have had has been just awesome. It's kind of like a like a storytelling show. It is. I just happen to be naked in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> we just had people in our bathroom, I mean the bathtub rather, on our show. We did. <laughs> Tell me what's next. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Pioneer.